you watch Cincinnati Reds player Jake Fraley at practice, he makes the game of baseball look easy. But recently in the game of life, he says the hits just kept on coming. Being in a place, you know, where my job is extremely difficult in the aspect of, you know, just having so much failure, it just kind of tumbled into this big ball of mess that I didn't know how to deal with. Luckily, Fraley and every other player here have a fail-safe behind-the-scenes team member. Her name is Becky Schneckenberg. I'm dedicated to making the Reds a mentally healthy place, and my staff is dedicated to that. So what goes up as mental health improves? Uh, trust. Trust grows. Trust grows. Um, being happy grows. And happy players keep their head in the game, on the field and off it, Sean Pender told me. If you're better at home with your family, if you feel better about yourself, then when you come to the ballpark, it really is something that uh, is a benefit to what they do every day. Pender is the Reds' vice president of player performance. So are we at the place yet where you've been able to give them a message that their mental health is as important as their physical health? I don't know if we're there yet. Pender says thanks to players such as Jake Fraley, who are speaking up about their own mental health journey, we're getting there. For me, it was trying to get to a point where I was like accepting of, okay, I need help. That help for Fraley started with what the Reds offer as part of their player mental health program. It includes confidential counseling for those who reach out for treatment, prevention programs to try to keep players and family members mentally well, international connections with bilingual education to reduce language barriers and isolation, and team building activities to let players know it's okay, even in the major leagues, not to be okay. We make it okay to talk about when you're not having a great day. So it's hard for us to imagine that any of these players would struggle with some of the same things that we do, but do they? I've been getting that question for so many years, and they're, they're people just like us, and they, uh, they have all the same problems we do. Jake Fraley says to hit back against those problems, he's continued counseling with a sports psychologist. It's absolutely changed my life. And developed an attitude of service to his teammates that's been a real home run. I learned this going through this process, and you're either one of two people. You're either an energy giver or an energy sucker. And you need to be an energy giver because it's contagious. And I can choose my attitude every single day. At Great American Ballpark, Liz Bonus, Local 12 News.